Here's a red letter date in the history of science. November 5th, 1955. Listen and plot. I know of no reason why the gunpowder treason should ever be forgotten. November 5th, 1955. Why? I don't get what happened. <laughs> that was the day I invented time travel. Back to the future, you know? Back to the future. To be a strong nation, America must be a manufacturing nation, and we were doing that. We were doing that. Now they're sending it all back to other nations to make... Back to the future, you know? Back to the future. I remember it vividly. I was standing on the edge of my toilet, hanging a clock. The porcelain was wet. I slipped, hit my head on the edge of the sink. And when I came to, I had a revelation. <laughs> a vision, a picture in my head, a picture of this. This is what makes time travel possible. All of a sudden, he drops them like a dog. <laughs> they were fired like dogs. <laughs> She lied like a dog <laughs> on her emails. Faucet. Did you ever go to the faucet? You turn on the faucet to wash your hands, and it turns on so easy. It's like this, you know, because there's zero pressure behind it. No water. You go like that, the thing flips on, and you, whoa. And then, dung, dung. These people are crazy. Like chocolate, even It's taken me almost 30 years of my entire family fortune to realize the vision of that day. It was not until the early 19th century, the 1800s, that a mechanism was used to travel through time. On May 19, 1838, Hans Christian Andersen published a short story called The Galoshes of Fortune. As you can tell by the title, the galoshes are the tool that helps several characters transport to any place or time that they choose. It's taken me almost 30 years of my entire family fortune to realize the vision of that day. My God, has it been that long? Things have certainly changed around here. I remember when this was all farmland as far as the eye could see. Old man Peabody owned all of this. He had this crazy idea about breeding pine trees. 